Hey guys, this is going to be a basic game programming tutorial in Java. Um, I'm going to show you how to lay the groundwork for creating your first game. By the end of the series, you should have a working 2D top-down shooter, one of my favorite types of games. Now, in order to make it easier for you guys to follow along, I will be starting from scratch with the bare minimum requirements. All you need is the JDK, the Java Development Kit. I'm using JDK 7. You can use whatever you have. JDK 6 or lower should work. And any text editor. Um, I'm not going to be using any IDEs like Eclipse or NetBeans just in case any of you following don't have those I'm going to be using Notepad++, my favorite text editor so let's go ahead and get started um, I have a directory here, tutorial and I've navigated to it in the command prompt type in copy null game.java and copy null game panel.java this command um, lets us create two empty files called game.java and gamepanel.java go ahead and open both of those up start out with game.java we're gonna go ahead and import java x swing jframe this is going to be our main class our entry point because it has the main function in it but what we're gonna do here is we're going to create the window the application window. Um, let's give it a title first game and some standard stuff set default close operation um, this just makes it so that when you click on the X button at the top of the screen that it actually closes the application instead of the window itself the next one's window.pack sets the window size to whatever is inside of it and set visible true is self-explanatory this is the important one window.setContentPane we're going to set it to our new game panel class that we are about to write so we're pretty much done with game.java you never have to look at that again so close it GamePanel.java, this is where all of the game code will go. So go ahead and import JPanel. Um, also, Aut star and Aut image star. That should get us started for now. Um, so let's go ahead. As you can already tell, we are going to be extending JPanel here. With a capital P. Let's start out with the constructor. Uh, game panel. All we're gonna do is call the J panel constructor. Set the preferred size, dimension, width, height. Um, we're gonna set those up here. Uh, we're gonna make these static, also, just in case any other class needs to use them. Um, we're gonna make this relatively small, 400 by 400. Now these next two lines are important. Set focusable true and request focus. This makes it so that our game panel actually is able to be focused on and this one gets the focus. Um, this is important for getting keyboard input from the user. Next, we're gonna run our functions. Here's one called add notify. Um, this one is actually built into the J panel, so we're actually overriding it. We're just gonna call that, and this basically says that the J panel is done loading and that we can start whatever we want to do. So go ahead, back up into fields, we're going to create a new thread, called thread, to start our game. If thread is equal to null, thread equals new thread, and we're going to give it our game panel, this. 
Um, so let's go ahead and start the thread. Since we're passing our own game panel into the thread, we have to implement runnable. So go back up to there, implement runnable at the end. We also have to add one more thing. The thread is going to look for one function called public void run, which we are also overriding, and this is what the thread is going to run. So let's go back up here to the fields and create a new boolean called running. This is the boolean that will tell us if the game is running. When we first start running it, it's going to be true, of course. And here is the heart of our game, the game loop. This is going to keep going while running is true. In here we're going to do three things. We're going to do game update, game render, and game draw. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the declarations, the definitions down here. All of them are going to be private void. Game update is basically updating the everything in the game, the player position, enemy position, uh, projectiles, um, they also deal with collision, um, everything that the game needs to do, all of the game logic basically goes into the game update. The next one, game render, is going to draw everything that's currently active onto the screen. Um, actually off to an off-screen image. Uh, this includes the player, the enemies, the background, the projectiles, everything. That's going to go onto an off-screen image. This is called double buffering, by the way. Because we're drawing to an off-screen image first, and then we're drawing onto the game screen. And that's what we're doing in game draw. So go back up here to the top and create new buffer image image. This is our canvas and a new graphics 2D object G. This is our paintbrush. Now before the game loop we're gonna go ahead and initialize those new buffered image um, width and height buffered image dot type int RGB and G is just going to be um, images uh, get graphics. So G is the paintbrush to the image. Now that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and make a test run. In game render, we're going to use G. So G draws to that off screen image. G dot set color. Um, color white, g.fill rectangle 0, 0 width height, this just fills in a rectangle size width and height across the entire screen, um, g.set color, color black, g.draw string, test string, at position 100, 100. So if we run it now, we're not going to be able to see anything because remember G draws to an off-screen image. In order to actually draw onto the game screen, we need to get the graphics object for our game panel. And we're going to do this with this dot get graphics. Now G2 is the paintbrush for our actual game screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to have G2 draw that off-screen image onto the screen like so. And this is pretty much all you're ever going to use game draw for. It's going to be the shortest of the three. And that's all it's going to do. So let's go ahead and test this out. Java C, star.java compiles everything. And Java game is going to run it. And here we go. Here's our first game with a white background and black string test string. So the next video is going to cover uh, setting a speed limit on the game loop because right now it is running as fast as it can which is no good. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.